Okay, what we discuss now is actually DMX deep switches. Uh, the biggest problem we have is when people get their fixtures and they have deep switches at the back, they're trying to understand how do they have to set it up for the unit to be controlled by the controller. When you have digital display, it's very simple. You just go to the display, you set it up to the channel, I'll tell you if it's A001 or A0017, just go into the number, you see visual numbers. But when it has these switches, how do you do that? Very simple. On every fixture, there is nine or ten these switches. Each this switch has a value, and I wrote down here the value. So this switch number one has value one, this switch number two, value two, this switch number three, value four, four has eight, this switch number five is sixteen, six is thirty two, seven is sixty four, eight is one twenty eight, nine is two fifty six. This switch number ten is usually reserved for special functions for that unit, usually like automatic, master slave, or audio, music, whatever. So usually this switch number 10 is a special function. Now how does it work? If I was trying to do, and I did some example over here, if I was trying to set my D switches to be 1 plus 4, which value I'm going to get? Basically, 1 plus 4, so because 1 is value 1, 4 is value 8, 1 plus 4 is equal 9. So as I show over here, is 9. If I would try to set this is number 5 and 1, 5 and 1, that's taking 16 plus 1, I'm getting 17. And if I was trying to set 7 and 4, 64 and 8, 72. Now if I go upside down, that's basically saying to me, I need to get value 64, which deep switch I need to set up. So if I was trying deep switch value 64, if I have value 64, it's very simple. I have deep switch number 7, just turn that one on. If I have value 3, I don't have 3 in here. So what I need to do is I need to take the number that is the most closest number to that number and then add the next number after. So if I was trying to do 3, 3 will be 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1. And if I need value 1, it's just 1. If it's value 8, it's just 4. But now we have value 13. How do I do that? So 13, I need to take. I have 16 here. I have 8 here. So I cannot use 16 because it's over. So I take 8. And then the next number next to it is 4. That is, brings it to 12. And then plus 1 is 13. So 4, 3, and 1. 4, 3, and 1. So keep in mind the key here is always to add the highest number to the value you're trying to achieve and adding the numbers closest as much as possible, as less digits as possible. That's the concept, very simple.